What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about several different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Megan 2.0. We'll be talking about the Black Phone 2. We'll be talking about Scream 7. And we'll be talking about Jordan Peele's next film. So just to start off here with Megan 2.0. Megan 2 is underway. We found this out from Blumhouse Vice President of Feature Film Development, Ryan Turek, who told us to Collider. He said, we haven't started shooting or anything like that. We're aiming towards that January release date that was set. Now, as we know, the film is expected to arrive in January of 2025, I believe. So while this isn't anything major, it's nice to know that there's a goal to have it out by January of next year as planned. Um, he didn't really get into anything too overly specific about how far along they are in the process. We know James Wan has said this about the sequel in the past, though. He said it's early yet, but Megan is coming back in a big way. The first film came just at the right time when concerns about AI were mounting, and we're definitely leaning into that on the next one. We're exploring the ai universe even further i mean we saw the doll upload herself to gemma's or gemma's alexa or whatever at the end so as anyone's guess where this creation will upload itself to next akila cooper i believe is pinning the sequel and allison williams as well as violet mcgraw are expected to reprise their roles as the aunt in these dynamic that function as the heart of the original i do want to highlight this i love how these two are getting everything i would want and hope to see for andy and karen barkley at the earlier stages of child's play i would have loved to see christine hicks or, or catherine hicks and alex vincent get to reunite like that for the sequel to child's play but we know catherine hicks never got to return as karen barkley and she likely never will it's very sad and unfortunate but at least this is happening for the duo uh behind or the duo at the center of megan uh just makes me reminiscent and nostalgic for the fact that we're never going to get that for andy and karen very sad but megan 2 is still underway according to ryan Turek. what do you guys think about the megan 2 update let me know down below are you excited for megan 2 why or why not do you think they should just stop making these sort of movies are you also hopeful for a crossover with chucky let me know down below jumping into the black phone so ryan Turek recently also told comic book that scott derrickson will be returning to direct the black phone 2 if it wasn't already confirmed before because i could have sworn it was or maybe it was just a very big duh assumption but he said yeah scott's coming back i think it's too early to talk about anything else regarding it regarding that but yeah derrickson's returning derrickson had previously also made these comments on a black phone sequel he said i can't tell you much or i can tell you this much i wouldn't make a black phone sequel without ethan hawk i don't think there'd be any point in doing that well from what's been reported already we know ethan is back so is finney his sister who is the sister in real life to violet mcgraw their father is back and also the robin actor is back as well i think i'm just very curious how this sequel will unfold narratively because i'm confident it's embracing the supernatural elements established in the original and the grabber will be a supernatural killer this time around almost like blumhouse will try to create their own iteration of freddy krueger for their brand which i've speculated in the past but yeah it's nice to have confirmation i guess that scott is back not that there was ever any doubts but i look forward to being unsettled by his distinct style once more when the grabber returns to theaters next june i believe it's 100 percent in 2025 but i'm a little iffy i think the month it's supposed to drop is june been a big fan of scott derrickson for a while love sinister don't really care for the sinister sequel i don't think scott derrickson did that one though i could be mistaken it's been a while since i watched the sequel i loved his shorts on the vhs anthology series and i love what he did with the black phone so i cannot wait to see what he cooks up for the black phone too uh diving into scream seven scream seven we know is very much so up in the air still with the loss of christopher landon melissa barrera jenna ortega all of that good jazz but what do you think is occurring right now at spyglass with the recent loss of the director well it'd be safe to assume they are searching for a new director and here's the thing nine times out of ten if they can't find a new director then the film will get canceled one would have to assume or at least indefinitely pause until a director is found nevertheless i was digging around some scoops and rumors from october and I think it's worth mentioning because chances are this won't be happening. And from what I know, this star does not have a deal to appear in Scream 7 as of now anyway. So just something fun to talk about for you guys. One person who could have appeared in Scream 7 before everything went up in smoke recently. Uh, this person recently appeared alongside Kyle Gallner in The Passenger from this past year. If you know who I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. If you saw The Passenger and that makes you excited... 
Just think of the things we were robbed of. Because I don't think he, I don't think this person will be appearing in Scream 7 anymore. But things could always still go that direction. But this star does not currently have a deal. But again, they starred alongside Kyle Gallner in that movie, The Passenger, from last year. In which Kyle Gallner gave a phenomenal performance. If you haven't checked out The Passenger, go check it out. But as mentioned, for now, this star again is not signed or under contract to appear in Scream 7. I also have not heard anything that would suggest that this film is being canceled for those that have been asking on Twitter. I've heard quite the opposite for now. And it would appear from what I've seen on Twitter that Jeff Snyder is also looking into who could be potentially starring in the upcoming film. So the cancellation, while it could still happen, it doesn't seem like we're at that point just yet. It seems like we're very far from it. These people will crank out the worst thing possible before they cancel this IP. I, I feel very confident about that. As long as they can secure a director, they will crank out the worst thing possible. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about here is related to Mr. Jordan Peele. So Jordan Peele has commented on his next film during the Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend podcast. He said this. He said, this has been obviously it's been an interesting year because the writer's strike had me in the state of listening. And that's where I need to be. Uh, I don't, I do feel like my next project is clear to me and I'm psyched that I have another film that, you know, could be my favorite if I make it right. So it, I guess it could be his personal favorite if he makes it right. He's not again telling us anything overly specific about what it is or anything like that. But the fact that he has an idea of where he wants to go makes me excited. The other thing that recently happened with Jordan Peele's upcoming film is that it got shifted out of the release schedule because it was supposed to drop this December. But obviously with the strikes and everything that had him at a standstill, he had to wait and see. And now, according to him, he has an idea of where he wants to go. It's very clear to him and it could end up being his personal favorite out of the three that we know already exist. My personal favorite out of the three still to this day remains Get Out. I think that's his best outing since uh, I would say Nope is the second and Us is the weakest due to the rather large gaping holes in some of the logic. But whatever. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Jordan Peele's next project? Why or why not? Do you not care? What are your thoughts on that rumored star who allegedly could have appeared in Scream 7 but likely now will not? What are your thoughts on everything else regarding Megan and regarding the Black Phone 2? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the post notification. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.